Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh huh. This situation is interesting. Cash me outside. How, How about, about that? that? Time to wake up. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Jay Sama is in the building and today um, we are talking about something very interesting, alright? Now, uh, let me go ahead and grab my my trusted bifocals real quick for a second, hold on, excuse me. <coughs> now, uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, Danielle Bregatoli, breaking, I don't know what the hell the girl name is, but today we're talking about the Catch Me Outside girl. Now. I don't know where I get off thinking I'm allowed to talk about this subject, but I just figure I could. I just figured it's a it's a common thing. Everybody's kind of talking about it right now. So uh, if you guys didn't know who the Catch Me Outside girl is, she's she's basically a meme. Okay, she's this chick who went on Dr. Phil's show, disrespectful to her mom, and Dr. Phil was just like, "Hey, listen, little bitch, you can't be doing that." He didn't call her a little bitch, but you know, like that, that's basically what he said. All right, like me paraphrasing. That's what what he said. That's what he was trying to interpret on uh, on white television. And <laughs> let me tell you, this guy has so much patience, man. For him to not only bring her on the show the first time and deal with all this shit, and then bring her on the show a second time, only to remove the audience thinking this is gonna make a difference. This is, you know, I'm not gonna have all these women in the audience. There's no hoes in here or whatever, uh, whatever the situation may be. Now, here's the thing, is I thoroughly respect this girl. And let me tell you why before you, you guys jump all up in my comment section talking about you ain't shit, okay? Uh, this girl made the most out of a situation that is far more appealing than a lot of the uh, so-called celebrities that some of you people worship um, more than actually you know supporting your friends businesses but I mean that's none of my business okay you keep that to your damn self so uh, essentially what this girl has done is she has taken this meme you know this this existence of a cartoon this existence of a of a comedy piece and has managed to turn it into somewhat of a uh, monetizable career now I'm sure you're asking yourself well Jay uh, this doesn't make any sense why you would be praising this girl, but every week on your podcast, you're always talking shit about the Kardashians. Now, let me tell you one thing. Number one, you're wrong because you don't listen to the damn podcast, and I have never shitted on the Kardashians, but I think the two situations are uh, comparable. And let me give you an example. Um, the Kardashians, at the beginning, okay, at its core, without being too disrespectful to the queen, Kim K herself, uh, you know... Uh, as blessed as she be, that entire family situation would not have jumped off without two people, Paris Hilton and Ray J. And let me let me just give you a little backstory. If you guys didn't know anything about early Kim Kardashian, early Kim Kardashian was hanging out. She was basically best friends with Paris Hilton. And Paris Hilton at the time, she was the it girl. She was that girl that people wanted to hang around. She, you know, just... Uh, flip flopping or hoo ha all over the place, going, you know, hopping in and out of cars and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys know. I'm sure you do. Now, uh, Kim Kardashian's dad was actually um, the guy who represented OJ Simpson um, in his uh, murder case. Now, that is has absolutely nothing to do directly with Kim K, but it did help push things forward okay um her family was a little bit more wealthy than the average people you know and then hanging out with paris and that was a thing and then dating ray j that was another thing and then reggie bush and then that white guy and then so on and so forth you guys know what i mean so going down the line um she has basically increased her fame and celebrity because of this ray j sex tape now let me let me tell you how how terrible this sex tape is okay there's no way i don't know anybody in their fucking right mind who could watch this sex tape and just be like yeah this is exactly what i see what i want to see there was literally 30 seconds of titty in this okay this is poor this is terrible cinematography right now ray j please i'm gonna need you to just not pick up any more cameras ever at all period thank you okay so I'm just, you know, putting it out there that 
obviously her family situation would not have jumped off without this particular thing happening now um not saying that oh you a hoe you know uh that's that's all you do is make money from hoeing it's just like no she was able to turn uh make the best of a bad situation i wouldn't even say it was a bad situation it was definitely a situation where uh you wouldn't expect the average person the average meme the average you know uh like like small insignificant person like you wouldn't this i'm talking about the average person you wouldn't expect them to be able to turn something that from a sex tape into a business okay not only did they turn it in not only did she turn it into a business she turned it into a fucking dynasty okay this girl was able to put her entire family on this platform okay like her entire family was with it um because there's no way we would know about kylie kendall or chloe or courtney or chris or bruce or caitlin whichever you would like to be called this week sir ma'am lady okay <laughs> whatever you would like to be called all right there's no way that we would know about half of these people if it weren't for you know this particular jump off now uh to kind of relate this to the catch me outside girl but we'll, we'll reference her as her actual name danielle uh she has taken this particular situation the dr phil show and managed to book appearances uh get get endorsement deals ha get paid to come to events and things like that she has actually managed to monetize okay that's the key word monetize on a lot of these things that we deem oh you know it's just a joke or whatever you know she's not really famous you know she's not really an idol most of the haters are saying that okay let me tell you how your boy is jealous okay if i could go out and disrespect my mother right now and end up with 7.2 million followers i apologize mom but oh i'm about to call you out okay that would just be so lovely if i could do something like that that'd be amazing i would i would absolutely love to matter of fact i do the whole i roast the whole family in public <laughs> 7.2 million followers let me tell you what i can do with 7.2 million followers and start getting engagement up and then you you bring your boy endorsements let me tell you like jay can you please come to this event for about 20 well you know we'll we'll write the check for 20 20 20 grand you know we'll do it for 10 20 grand bruh I'll do it for twenty dollars in a chicken sandwich, okay? I best believe <laughs> I'm on my way. Wait, you paying for the flight, right? You know, fuck it. I don't care. I'll walk. I'll walk to get to where I gotta go, okay? So I I think it's so interesting how a lot of people always relate something uh where when somebody is achieving their dream i guess you could say and i'm not saying that this is what this girl is doing and i'm not saying that's what kim kardashian was doing or anything like that i'm saying is the average person does not respond well when it comes to somebody else doing better than them okay that is called envy okay and this form of envy is very in interesting because sometimes it even affects your friends and this is me going off on a tangent here sometimes it affects your friends in the most terrible ways because you would think that the people the closest people around you your friends you know you decide to pop let's say you were an nba player right or you wanted to be an nba player or you wanted to be a rapper or something and all your boys always you know passing out hey you know helping you out with you know your music and stuff like that and then when you need them they kind of show up here and there but as soon as you pop they kind of start acting a little different and i don't mean like hey man can you break me off some bread you know we've been friends forever i mean the type of people that are just like oh yeah you didn't yeah man we didn't bother inviting you to this thing because we just figured you was busy now that you big hollywood and shit just like bro so you're gonna be mad at me because i decided to eat shit and pursue my dream that's what you mad at right now okay that's cool because that even happens to me um on on my youtube channel at 850 subscribers you'd be surprised at how many of my friends so-called friends just decided to be like oh well mr youtube now um yeah we didn't we didn't bother inviting and that's once again that's a personal story we didn't bother inviting you because we figured you'd be busy at some youtube shit oh oh okay all right that's cool you keep working your nine to five nine to two or whatever raising your two kids that you didn't want and you had accidentally okay you keep doing that buddy all right let me tell you how i'm gonna be over here counting these views getting this watch time and getting this money bro okay fuck out of here i ain't gotta hear shit from you so I just think it's so interesting how that even develops in people who don't know somebody. So uh, kudos to Danielle for being able to monetize this 
this platform that we call the internet, okay? Making herself money off of memes, okay? Money off of motherfucking memes. And with that being said, you guys can catch me outside. Make sure to like the comments, okay? Like the comments, all right? That is completely different than like the video. I don't care if you like the video, I don't care if you dislike the video. But if you dislike the video, at least tell me why you disliked it and leave a comment down below. But make sure you go down there, start a conversation, you know, meet some people, okay? Stop being such an intro, you know, uh, introvert. Get out, get out there. Come on, man. It's time, it's time to socialize. It's 2017. We, we got to make new friends and make moves, man. Anyway, this has been your boy Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon. <laughs>